Um, and, tell um, me about what's going on. Well, so yeah, I, I thought I'd I thought I'd give you a text or whatever and just see if we can catch up because I don't know it's it's really really strange and like I don't know if you've had it since stop stopped uh, since we've like stopped playing like professionally that I just I mean I'm I'm hitting them quite well in the nets hitting them fine like didn't have a great net yesterday last night just um, bit of a bit of a sort of dodgy wicket. The, the sprinkler was on it in the morning, so it was a little bit stodgy and it was doing a bit. Um, so I played okay, but not great. Um, but previously, just hit, hitting the ball really well. Um, feel confident in the nets. And it gets to the game. and I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm going to get out in the game. Like I got run out backing up on Saturday. The week before, I drove one, caught short extra cover on like a, uh, stoppy tennis ball sort of wicket execution wrong like hold my hands up sort of thing um, but I just like um, like mindset wise I'm just I just can't see myself batting for longer than 10 overs like or 5 overs but you just um, said you don't think you're going to get out so that seems to contradict what you've said I know but like I don't like I don't well, what I mean is I don't feel like I'm like going to get out every ball right I don't feel like I'm in that place yeah, yeah. Um, but I just like runs wise. Just like I used to bat when I was at Sunbury and I was batting at my best. I used to set my stall out and so I bat fifty overs here, or I'm batting a good period of that fifty overs. And I bat myself to once I get to myself to thirty, I was always backing myself to get a big score. I don't like it's it's really bizarre. It's really weird. And like, even yeah. on Saturday, I was like. I got to six and then I got run out backing up. But I was like, I was thinking it was stupid really because I'm thinking, fuck me, 20 is a long way away here. Yeah. Um, you know? Um, I would say, I would say my first thing is I reckon you got to forget the scoreboard and like just say, yeah. like, try hard to forget the scoreboard and just say, all that matters is winning the contest next ball and try and just like try and say, right. I don't care if I make the ugliest 30 or 50 overs of my life. I'm just going to try and bat time and fight. Because mm. naturally, you'll accumulate. Naturally, you, you play your shots, you'll, get, you'll score runs. So you're never going to be 30 or 50 overs. But if you, I reckon you're probably too anxious to get a score or too yeah. desperate to get a score. And so then you're trying too hard. And then you're like, oh, 20 is a long way away. And you're like not concentrating on the ball. So yeah. I would just say you're distracted and then you're starting to get worried because you're distracted. I'd say like, find a way, try and find a way and between now and Saturday. I'd say mm. re re reflect and try and remember when you were batting your best, whether that was during Middlesex or during Richmond or Sunbury, when were you batting your best and what were you doing and try and just live in that. Because what we generally do is when we're low on runs, we generally replay oh, I'm not playing well, what happened last week? And we dwell and we get so caught up that when we go out to bat, we're tense and we're nervous. Whereas if you can flip that yeah. and just be like, oh, I remember that time and you're constantly reminding yourself of how it felt, what you did, you're going to feel better. It's like you're living in a movie that's good. You're going to feel better than living in a movie that's bad. That's one thing. Yeah. But I'd say on the day, Josh, you've got to do everything in your power to forget the scoreboard, not even care if you're on two or 20 or 200. And literally be like, okay, I'm just going to compete every ball. I'm just going to do everything I can to just see the ball and just compete. And how ugly it is, how, and just try and get up the other end as often as I can. And if you can just go mm. like, how you're hitting the ball in the nets is irrelevant really. Because on the day, you just got to fight. Like Buck's, Buck's sort of got this thing that I've started to believe in. that it, Like confidence is a bit of a myth if you just become a fighter. So regardless of how you feel, if you just say, I know that I'm, I can execute anything, I've just got to watch the ball, make a good decision and then execute, you don't need to be confident. You just have to fight. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. yeah, it does, yeah. But I think, what do yeah, you think? I, I, can you relate that to you? I, I can because some of my best innings or some, or some of my most rewarding innings like over the years have been ones where... It hasn't been all free flowing. It's been like tough fighting against fighting. Yeah, it's been tough and fighting against this certain bowler or fighting against a sort certain period where it wasn't like extra cover drives, straight drives, pulls. Like it was grindy singles and so twos. So just go yeah. back to that. Yeah. Regardless if yeah. you're on a flatty and you're facing pump, try and think. 
like something that Justin Langer talks about and, and Buck sort of has the same sort of mentality is that Langer used to say that he never wanted to feel comfortable. He never wanted to feel in because then he'd relax. So if he was, he, yeah. he might hit three cover drives in a row for four and he'd go, I'm not batting well. Come on, come on, fight, fight. I'm not batting well. And Buck was a bit the same. He said that he'd want to turn up and see a green wicket because it meant he could be like get in the contest rather than er on a flatty. Anyone can yeah. score runs. So I reckon almost go back to some of those innings where you had, it was tough and you had to fight and you had to find a way. And it wasn't fluent. It wasn't free flowing. It was just, it was just nitty gritty, tough, getting in the contest, singles, the odd outside edge for four and, and think, that's what I'm going to do for the next few weeks. And if it doesn't work this week, who cares? That's my mentality for the next few weeks. Yeah. 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 It's just, um, and the other thing as well, obviously with Richmond, like, I want to, I want to, because this is for my job down there, I want to do well for, well, for obviously for myself at the club and like to prove to people. Yeah, but you, you don't have to prove good. anything. You don't have to prove anything. You're putting no. extra pressure on yourself. That is yeah. like you're putting the weight on you and then you're going out to bat yeah. with a backpack full of bricks and you're trying to play with this. You've got to say, fuck it. I don't have yeah. to prove anything to anyone. Like, mate, you're, you've done it many, many times before. Yeah. You've had a, a good professional career and an excellent league career. Like, you don't have to prove anything to anyone, mate. Like that's that's what mm. you're, that's just what you're thinking. I know, like as I'm the batting coach at my club, and I sort of have had thoughts like that. And then I come back to go, who cares? Like end of the day, I'm going to get up, work hard, and if if I score runs, I yeah. score runs. But I know that I can sleep easy. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Yeah. So I think I think you got to try whenever you catch yourself thinking about that. You got to try and say, no, nah, who cares? Like, and even if you you want to do well, that's that's human nature, but. If you think, if you keep reminding yourself that you have to prove something, then you're going to be batting with all sorts of pressure and expectation every time you go to the crease, and that's hard. Yeah, yeah, I know. I agree. Yeah, just go yeah. fuck it, my, And if you say, if you sort of say, look, cricket's a tough game. Rahul Dravid um, said on a podcast, which got turned into an article, a batsman who averages fifty fails more than he succeeds. So if you say, I'm not going to get it done every week, who cares? But over the course of 10 games or 12 games, I'm going to have a pretty good yeah. season if I just trust myself. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely right, isn't it? Um, but it's, it's, easy to, it's easy on a theoretical level. It's actually applying that to you. So how can you... You've got to, like, catch yourself when you're thinking, oh, I've got to get run this week because so-and-so is, like, saying something or so-and-so could be thinking this. Just gonna say no, fuck it. Like I'm on. I'm. I'll be fine. I'm playing well. I'm working hard. I'm doing the right things. And your yeah. your job is to be the coach and the player, not just the player. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like things are going well off the field with the coaching side of things. You're busy. Like the club's flourishing. So like, yeah. take pressure off yourself by saying, "Club's on fire." Like a lot of it's like all the stuff's going well. I'm doing really well, and then. There's less pressure on you to do well on the field. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, funny old game, isn't it? <laughs> it's such a mental game. Such a mental game. Yeah.